Well, I'm here in Georgia visiting my family, and me and my dad, we've been flying together. And I built a cargo plane that I could fly here in Georgia. Um, it's built out of Dollar Tree foam, just like the last ones. It's got a 60-inch wingspan. Um, the cool thing on this one I did is I've got a removable nose. This one's got a battery tray, so it just slides on and it stays on real well. 450 size motors, 890 kV. Another thing I did different from the last one is I made the motors mount to the actual fuselage instead of the wing. Alright, so for underneath, one thing I've noticed with some of the past models is when I take off, if you have your fuselage tube going all the way back, it'll kind of scrape the back here. So I cut it off, made the tail a lot higher and I reinforced it with these BASA strips. They're 36 inches long and they run the full length of the fuselage. And I also have my, my cargo drop module here. I just got a rubber band going across my parachute and then there's a servo inside that'll pull this wire to release the rubber band. And then I've got my package inside here. a little box with a magnet attached to it so as the parachute exits and inflates it'll pull out this box. These two buzzards have been out. Three buzzards, get them! Oh, there, there we go.
on a dime. Coming in for a car, guys. starting to get dark now so I got my uh, red lights green lights in the front Let's see they're in the front they're on the side and they're in the back and then underneath I've got white and blue so. for a pass. Powerful magnet. <laughs> well, on that last parachute drop, is my first time using a box. It uh, just magnetizes in inside. There's a magnet towards the the front wall but it, it pulled it out and actually wedged it which it just like just like this against my little release mechanism so that's what uh, caused that last so my fix for that is I'm just gonna put a little wall here ramp that'll deflect it from getting caught up on this ledge Drop number two.